If you're watching this show, I'd bet dollars to donuts that as a child, your bedroom was adorned with posters of exotic, unattainable poster cars. All of them declaring something about your own person. So we got the idea that why not drive our poster cars? Now, the producers were not so keen on this idea. They were afraid that these cars would fall short of our expectations. Technology has come a long way. You could argue that uh, entry-level Ford Focus outbreaks some of the supercars that adorned your walls. But I would argue I've been waiting a lifetime to drive this vehicle. So we're doing poster cars. My poster car is a 1993 Vector W8. Now, this is as rare as they come. Only 17 of these were ever produced. I'm dying to see what Jethro and Rob picked. Oh, yes. The Lancia Delta HF Integrale is the most successful rally car of all time, winner of six championships in a row from 1987 to 92. Well, Rob certainly wasn't thinking about horsepower with his choice, but few cars are as poster-worthy as this 70s muscle car masterpiece. Of course, the bandit's here! <laughs> look how beautiful Look at this thing. I know, look at sweet. Screaming chicken. The tan and te leather interior, it's like softens the mullet a little bit. Yeah. It's like if a dirtbag has to go to a wedding, he'd wear this car. The amount of hours I've fantasized about being in that car <laughs> running from Johnny Law. I know. Ah. Uh, here we go. Okay. I'm sorry. These cars are as awe-inspiring today as when they were first made. True. But with technology having advanced so much since your cars ruled the roads, we're afraid that your poster cars won't live up to your hype. However, you guys wanted to drive them, and so we have obliged. We've set up a racetrack day just for you at a nearby raceway, okay. where you'll be able to drive your cars to their full potential. Oh! <laughs> oh. I, did, did I bring a fire suit? <laughs> <laughs> After a lifetime of waiting, we were off to literally drive our dreams. Right. And despite what the producers think, there's no way these cars won't live up to those childhood fantasies. Oh, time to drive this bad boy. Does he fit in there? <laughs> Ow! Okay, your poster cars will run against a poster car that. killer that should help finally determine if your poster cars are best suited on a wall or in your garage. <laughs> so what's a poster car killer? I know, that's not it, right? No. <laughs> oh that's my not... God. Oh, come on. That's a, a Nissan, Nissan Altima. Was there an old lady driving that? Are they suggesting an Altima can beat a Vector W8? How dare they? I'm, I'm personally offended by I this. Too. Let's do it. Let's get sensible. All right, average American male in an average car. This is depressing. Yeah. Go! Oh, oh civil. <laughs> nice civil launch. One minute, 21.06. OK, Ruby, go! Gentle Bad star. That thing sounds great, even though it makes no power. It's going very wide. What's he? He stopped. It's a dead stop. Could be broken down, bud. <laughs> this is confidence. He thinks the TA's so fast. Oh my God, he's taking a. That he can You're do taking this. a picture. <laughs> oh my God, oh, he's taking air, air guitar. guitar. <laughs> oh my God, that's not gonna do a thing for his time. Oh wow, okay. Uh, 50 seconds burned. Back in the day, the Vector claimed it was faster than a Ferrari Testarossa, the Corvette ZR1, and the Acura NSX. Now, all it has to be is faster than the car your high school math teacher drives. This is for poster car glory. Three, two, one, go! Look at it, guys. Nice. Look at this. It changes direction so beautifully, it's so flat. I've never felt so relaxed when Dax is doing a lap. Normally, I'm like worried he might go quicker than me. 